So for breakfast, I had salmon, chicken, ground beef, and lard. And I eat for my jar of meat every day. And I also had some coffee with this. I had a small meal, only a couple spoonfuls of food, maybe like five. Because I overate last night. And I was, so I was just not very hungry in the morning at all. And I'm usually not hungry in the morning anyways. But yeah, there's me with my coffee. And I'm bringing my jar of meat to school. I bring it every day. There I am in school. This is for lunch now. So I was just finishing the salmon and chicken and I just had the remainder of that. I ate everything except the salmon because I'm going to save that or I did save that for later. So I had dinner at 6 p.m. and I had everything in the box, turkey bacon, bacon, scrambled egg yolks, cooked pork, and I also have an egg yolk for my coffee, and I have ghee there. Well, it's kind of ghee, but I didn't do it very well, so there's still lactose in it, and that is clarified butter <laughs> ghee, if you were, if you oh, did wow. not know, if you were unaware. This is my first time adding an egg yolk to my coffee, so I wanted to try it, and I record my live reaction I have that here in the video in showing in just a moment. I also poured my clarified butter, partly clarified. Those white bits on the top, I'm pretty sure that's lactose, so yeah. Because I didn't have a cheesecloth or anything, and I tried to just do it with a strainer, but it let like everything slip through, so it really was not effective for making clarified butter. So I need to get a cheesecloth to do that, or something oh. like a cheesecloth. And right there, that's a piece of like the egg yolk membrane or egg white membrane or something. And so I just put that on my bacon. So I figured it would taste fine and it did. I actually gave like a sweet, nice taste to it. So when I had that, this is me trying it for the first time. It really did not taste like much at all. I thought the egg yolk would add a lot of flavor to the coffee, like a strong, it would have a strong flavor, but it really did not, which came to my surprise. And the ghee doesn't add much flavor either, so I decided to add cinnamon. If it was regular butter, it would add more flavor, I guess, because of lactose, but there's just my sandwich that yeah. I made. That bread is not, it has zero carbs. I made it myself. My it has egg whites, egg yolks, and, um pork what's it called and I put that on a blender and then I baked it for about an hour or maybe a little less and this is me trying it for the first time well not no I, I tried the bread off camera um before this um but yeah this is me trying the carnivore sandwich for the first time and it was all right I would have liked it a lot better if I was actually if I was more hungry when I was eating I get into this bad cycle of eating when not hungry. If I, so if I start my day like that, like it's harder to get off the bandwagon or get off the wagon of overeating. But I can keep up a good streak. One, like if I've been doing it for, if I've been not overeating for a while. Oh, and that was just showing um, that I didn't finish my sandwich, and that's what, that's how much I had. Um, remaining and this is the next morning this is for breakfast now and again I was not very hungry because I had a giant dinner I had that whole box of food all the bacon all the pork but it really wasn't that much um, that's how much I had remaining I put in my jar of meat I had some pork chops from yesterday I was I'm not planning on eating I was not planning on eating all that for lunch and I did not, which is good. This is me at lunch the next day, or the second day. And this is how much I had remaining after I was done eating. So I don't know, like, what the weight is in ounces or anything like that. And I'm actually in the same very spot recording this voiceover that I am in this clip right now.